This is the path heading towards Surfers Beach. We're up on a bluff area, parkland. You can see what it's reading. The last three days I've been down here, when I hit the beach, my detector goes into alarm, which is set at three times about this, 99. Here I am on the bluff, looking the ocean, over the, overlooking the ocean. I can't see it very well, but you see it's still reading. Maybe a little higher, but that's hard to quantify. I'm on the beach. Here I am, I'm over background. The alarm's going off. Here I am on the beach. There you go. That's sort of the levels we're dealing with here. And I'm standing um, straight up. This camera's at eye height, so I'm um, about five feet off of the, the sand. I'm gonna walk down the beach a little bit, and I'm just gonna let this thing go, and I'll take another little video. I've walked down the beach a little ways. The sun's not at the right angle to show you much. You can hear the beep when it goes over background three times. It's not as active as it was a couple days ago, which is maybe good news. And that's back up at the trailhead. And here you can hear the detector in the background going off. I'll do a 360 here just to get a focus. slowly in a circle around me. I'm not doing any average count. This is just sort of letting it float. But you can see it's consistently over 100. I didn't bring a plastic bag today. I'll do it tomorrow again, but the readings are solid. walk to the water's edge and you're going to see the numbers go down as I get closer to the water. I'm down here right at the water line. You see, it's going back to 50, 40. Those are fairly normal for this area, at least what I read before. Now I'm going to walk back to the beach. I'm just standing a few yards off the beach, off the water's edge, just pointing my detector at the sand. There we go. Went over 100. Now I'm going to walk to the bluff.
the numbers go down as I focus it at the at the surface of the bluff, meaning the particulate isn't embedded in the soil at this level on this surface. Geez, there's so many questions. And I turn back towards the ocean. There we are. There should be a bucket in the sand somewhere. I'm gonna walk back towards it. Just walk back to the beach and so the width of the sand and pretty much the length of this particular beach looks like is contaminated at least three times over and the soil you know when I was closer to the soil I went as high as 12 13 times over background so pretty significant um, one last video here's here's the roadway coming from the beach and you see the numbers are down in the 30s so there was a slight difference between here and the edge of the water line but without doing um, 10 minute samples 30 minute samples here and there it's really hard to tell